Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back YouTubers to Mad Fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Cheese as always. Got another tips video for you guys today. These are going to be tips, tricks, and cheats that you guys can do every single game on offense, defense, and special teams that if you're not doing, you should be doing on a regular basis that will help you win games. A lot of these I've been doing all year and some of these you might already know, but if you watch this video and you learn anything new from this video today, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comments section. Like, shares, comments, all that stuff really helps out my channel. So if you want to show support, that's a great way to show support support by doing that and as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor moxp.com if you guys want to get the cheapest coins on the market make sure to check them out link in the description below uh, use discount code money shot you get five percent what's already the cheapest coins on the market now the first tip that you can do is something that you can do on the opening kickoff this is something you could do at any point in time that you're in kick coverage basically instead of trying to maneuver around the blockers or like a lot of people do trying to run around them you can actually go right through them and it really all it takes is a nice timed hit stick so like this play right here I'm swallowed up by this blocker all I'm gonna do is time the hit stick before I basically get into impact and I can go right through that blocker and get a tackle on the ball carrier it's really that simple you can see I stop him he gets the ball he's gonna get the ball back now to 17 I do this all the time you never really see it in my gameplay because I typically edit out uh, the opening kicks but that's really all there is to it all I have to do and it, it doesn't have to be one blocker like right here we have a wedge we got two guys swallowing me up you can't even see me I'm gonna go right through them with a nice timed hit stick and get the ball carrier right at the exact same spot the 17 yard line so i know a lot of people don't even bother to do opening kicks a lot of people do scum kicks scum kicks are cool i rarely do them i just feel like you give your opponent better average field position every time but it's a lot harder to get a, a kick return touchdown on a scum kick this is my opponent giving me a scum kick i feel the ball at the 17 and when i finally get tackled i'm around the 30 uh to do it it's really simple all you gotta do is a sky kick that's y or triangle that's basically going to uh, change the arc of the kick up in the air and then all you really have to do is just kick it like normal just try to kick it off to the side it's really simple to do but like i said i rarely do it in this particular gameplay i'm only doing it because there's three seconds left in the half but ultimately it's not something that i do a lot scum kicks like i said they they take away any opportunity for a kick return touchdown but average field position is going to go up as you saw on those first two plays i tackled my opponent at this at the 17 each time these plays he's getting closer or the person fielding the ball is getting closer to the 30 plus every time so like i said i'm not a huge fan of it the next tip is for your user on defense you want to make sure that you always no matter what position you're using make sure that they are in a pre-snap blitzing animation whether you want to put your middle linebacker into a blitz your safety into a blitz no matter what it is you want to always blitz the user that you're using because it takes away any change of direction penalty that you're going to have which is something kind of new to this year's game this is something i think a lot of people are on to now but i still wouldn't be surprised that a lot of people don't know about this considering how many people are just now getting the game there is a new thing in the game called change of direction cornerbacks have a much higher change of direction than linebackers but if you blitz you will take away any change of direction penalty you can see right here i'm using a linebacker and you can see i'm moving much more fast and fluidly than a linebacker typically does in this year's game the next thing i would say is bluff blitzing your defensive ends to create a three wreck three wrecks are probably the closest thing to having a second user on the field you're going to see this play right here number one three wrecks they follow things across as you can see he follows the drag here if he goes too far he drops back to the middle i mean three wrecks play all over the place they're essentially like having a second user on the field i at least have one three wreck on every single coverage that i use uh typical hooks uh all they really do hook zones all they really do is just drop straight back they're pretty weak but if you can see right here this guy he's following crossers he's getting back into the center he's doing just about everything you would expect uh, from myself on this next play i'm going to do a three wreck once again you're not going to be able to tell the difference between me and the three wreck in coverage is because you see the user icon you see the name of the player but otherwise our motions are going to be almost exactly the same thing i'm going to drop back on this crosser so is the three wreck that's exactly what you expect the user to do then i go to try back on a deeper crosser sure enough so is the three wreck then he steps up and he's trying to take away the quarterback i mean three wrecks are absolutely insane with how diverse they are and how much they cover you should have at least one of them on the field with you at all times as it really frees you up to move around on the field the next thing i'm going to go over is playmaker this is something that i've gone 
gone over in the past, a lot of people don't know that you can playmaker with the right stick. It's changed over the years, but now all you really have to do to control the closest receiver to you is use the right stick in whatever direction you want the closest receiver to go. So in this scenario, it's going to be the running back. He's covered. I just flick the stick up, and sure enough, he's uncovered. It's that simple against zones. Even against man, it has that effect. But you can also use it in running scenarios, and I use it a lot more in running scenarios than anything else. So here's a scenario where I have a receiver right in front of me. He has a user behind him and a computer defensive player right next to him as well so if i want to get this guy out of the way all i really have to do is flick this stick up to basically take away the computer defender with him so i can basically open up the uh, space for some running room so i can basically take off with my quarterback that's really going to be the plan a lot of times a lot of times i'm really only playmakering so that i can one get this guy out of the way two sometimes it turns him right into a blocker as you can see it did right there and then three a lot of times it'll also make the user disappear from the direction i'm going as well that's one of the better ways to take off with your quarterback anytime you take off with the quarterback one of the best things you can do is always playmaker the closest guy out of the way because he'll clear a lot of run space here's another scenario my playmaker last second takes him up the field makes sure that i get a much better run than if i wouldn't have playmakered at all it's one of the better ways to, to take off with your quarterbacks to make sure you're always playmakering it doesn't always have to be up either a lot of times I'll just do it towards the user so if in this next play here I'm going to roll out to the right one more time the user in the center of the field so I'm going to flick the playmaker stick to the left so that he goes towards the user it just makes the user hesitate before it comes right after you another good trick this is something you can do pre-snap is a uh, fake motions so a lot of times I'll do a lot of fake motions if I'm trying to run like right here I'm trying to run an inside zone users kind of stacked right in that gap but when I motion this guy across he basically makes his adjustments and now he's not in that gap anymore because he's expecting a pass play based off the fact that I've been using similar pass plays with a slant coming across this is pretty much a scheme that i use a lot here once again i'm, I'm not liking the way that that's looking most this guy across you can see the user backs away because he's expecting a slant and then sure enough it just opens up some space for me to be able to get in and get a nice run nothing really too difficult about it a lot of times fake motions are really good to open up running room and set up passing plays as well but people mostly just use it for passing plays my next tip is a run defense tip uh something you can do in just about any formation is pinch the entire defense and i don't see this really done enough all you really have to do is hit the lb or the l1 button and then down on the right stick and you're basically going to bring the entire defense in i use this out of the 335 a lot but you can see even the cornerbacks come down uh and it basically just ups your run defense an entire level uh it's something that you can do like i said just about any formation you're going to take away uh just about you know most run lanes most inside run lanes outside run lanes it just makes the entire run defense better you can see nothing's really working here uh the cornerbacks play a lot better as well you can see right here my opponent he's in a goal line for for whatever reason i don't know and i'm in a three through five which you really should get bowled over but you can see i just pinched my defense pinched the entire defense not a defensive line not the linebackers the entire defense and you're seeing how we're having a lot of success shutting down a multitude of different types of runs whether they're inside runs or outside runs there's just really nowhere to go like i said i think the three through five plays is part in that but it's something you can do in just about any formation to give yourself better run defense and like i said i just don't see it enough it's a pretty good thing for pass defense too closing up space pre-snap and pass defense is also valuable Valuable. So the next thing you can do if you really want to kick your run defense up a notch is run committing. Now this is something you really want to save for critical situations like maybe goal line situations like you're seeing here or uh, fourth and inches, third and one, things like that where you know your opponent's going to run. Uh, if you want to get a stop, especially like a stop for a loss, you don't want to give up that inches or that yard. You pretty much have to run commit just about every time to make that happen. You can usually tell when your opponent is run committing based off of the entire defense will shoot in. Uh, this is a good opportunity to use something like a stretch alert looky i personally use stretch alert lookies on goal lines because i expect run commits uh here i'm using it at the end of a game because i'm expecting my opponent to sell out to stop the run and i basically just end the game with a huge uh you know basically just a slant uh, that i take to the house run committing at the wrong time can really cost you but at the end of the day you have to know how to do it and you have to have it in your back pocket and all you got to do to run commit is hit the rb or r1 button and down on the right stick that's all you have to do and it'll essentially shut down 99 percent of runs uh before they even begin but like I said, it can also uh, cost you a lot. So you can only you only can use it at the right time. The next cheat is a stamina cheat. If any of your players on offense or defense are getting tired, all you really have to do is cycle through plays in the same formation, and eventually it'll bring them back to normal stamina. Like here, my running back is in a deep red. If I just cycle through plays enough, eventually he will come back a shade, you know, a shade less 
to just an orange, that's just enough to get me another play out of him or two rather than him getting substituted, which a lot of times you don't have control over. If you really need him at full strength, though, going through a two-minute warning will basically alleviate that, or calling a timeout will usually bring them back to full health unless you've been really pounding them a lot. As you can see now he's back to a full blue. That works with just about any uh, position on the field, so it's not just for running backs. And then last but not least, one more thing for special teams. If you want to get an additional blocker in punt coverage, all you really have to do is, I mean, you pick your normal punt coverage. I typically take the middle. Drop back one of these uh, outside. I'm not sure what they are, but basically drop back one of these outside uh, blockers. And then the second that the play starts, you just switch to one of these guys in the middle, and you can bring back a third blocker. Otherwise, the maximum you can have is two. But you can see now I have three in the middle. I have two outside, which is one additional blocker. It's just going to help you to get better punt returns it's not something that i can say is going to guarantee you getting touchdowns or anything like that but it's definitely an improvement so that's it that's the vid if you guys want to see more videos like this do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below